One faithful day I get pulled over to the side by my trainers, Pat Buck and Brian Myers. And they, yeah, they're good guys. They're good guys. And they say, kid, congrats, your hard work's paid off. We got you WWE extra work. And to some that might not sound like a lot, but to me at the time, it was the only show in town and it was an opportunity. And an opportunity is all I needed. So I packed my best gear, I put on my best suit, and I drove to the Barclays Center, didn't I? And then, me and the extras, we were all put together, and we were then greeted and spoken to by none other than Sir William Regal. You proceeded to tell us, you are all gonna go to the ring and have tryout matches before the show's proceedings tonight. You then, you then had us up against a random opponent. We were put in a single file line and my match was set to go on second. And the first match gets in the ring, two young dreamers. And the onlookers were as follows. Arn Anderson, Dean Malenko, Adam Pierce, and William Regal. They then locked up and Dean Malenko rang the bell and he said, get out. The pressure was on, man. Then it was my turn. I was shaking like a leaf. I got in that ring, but I knew I wasn't fighting for a contract. I was fighting for my life, because make no mistake about it, Will, professional wrestling is my life! <laughs> After the match was over and I was soaking wet, I was victorious, and every single one of you looked at me like I had eight heads. And then you pulled me away from the group and you said, follow me. And you brought me to a separate room where it was just the two of us. And you said, kid, you got three minutes to sell yourself to me. Go. And boy, did 